Hey y'all, how are y'all doing? This is Big John. We got a real good video for y'all today. We're gonna put in a uh, narrowed Explorer axle on a 66 Fastback Mustang. Okay, so here's a little rundown on this car. The uh, front end took apart at the moment. We got just a little bit of rust repair to do. This is an unbelievably solid car, y'all. You you will love this thing. Full interior. It's got one little rust hole right here that we've got to put a small patch in. It's got one little soft spot in the floor on the driver's side. Let's see if I can get in here. About right in there, little spot right where the floor pan and the firewall kind of come together. I've had this car about a year now. It's kind of slowly working on things, but at the same time, collecting a lot of parts to get everything built. So me and Gerald put a Explorer axle in. That's what y'all are gonna check out today on the video. But I wanna show y'all this car, kind of introduce it, kind of show y'all what's going on. As you notice, there is no strut tower, stock strut tower anyway. So what I've done is, is this has been cut out for an AJE K member. It's gonna get Fox body or SN95 uh, Viking coilovers. We've played it in. This was actually done prior to starting YouTube channel. All this was plated in, the strut towers. I'm gonna reinforce the frame. We got a little bit of rust right down through the rails, right on the top. And that's all because on these cars, the upper control arm bolts in and it leaves a little pocket around the edge of the strut tower. And so this, uh, this particular car had some rust right in the top of the rail. So we're gonna do some rust repair there on both sides. Got a real nice, uh, Steering column, Chuck O'Rear built for us, um, fully rebuilt, but it's a stock original column. And uh, we're gonna get all that put together. I'm hoping to get the motor set down in this thing very soon. It's a, uh, it's a 347 stroker. It's a pretty hot little motor. AFR heads, um, Victor Junior intake. Um, I've got a Holly sniper kit that I may end up putting on it. Pretty nice, full full built. It was professionally built out in California. Coast Performance, I think, was the name of it. Uh, 11 to 1 compression. Got a TKO 5-speed going down in it. Um, yeah, she's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun little car. Uh, we've been through CJ Ponies. I've got front torque boxes to put in. Going to do some custom subframe connectors. Just going to pan down the side here, just to kind of give you all an idea of what this car looks like. Sharp, sharp, sharp. This is a good looking car. This thing has got um, one little bit of rust right down here in the bottom of that quarter panel. Other than that, the body's super straight. Got a lot of parts, you know, pulled together to put this thing together. Really looking forward to putting this thing together. We're still working on the mega cab. Sometimes you just need, sometimes you just need a change of pace, guys. Sometimes it's one of those things you kind of get where you're slowing down. You notice you're doing, you know, not really doing, getting things going as fast as you want to. So sometimes it's good to change gears. And I mean, heck, what what more motivation do you need to work on something this cool? That is one cool car. And uh we, we look forward to putting it together and look forward to showing you the rest of this stuff. This mega cab is far from done, but at the same time, we've made some progress, y'all. Floor pans are basically mocked in. A little more weld in there. Got to patch up that rocker panel. We'll have this thing together. Don't think we forgot about y'all. I promise. This mega cab is still going to get built. It is not... It is not on the back burner. It is not shoved in the corner collecting dust. We're just going to change some gears, show y'all a little bit of something different, 
and uh, hope you all enjoy it. Oh, that one went quick. That went easy. Yeah, you got that one a little better, didn't you? Yeah, must have got all the way through on it a little better. Yeah. All right. You want it straightened up? Just a little grinding and it'll be uh, oh, good to go. I'm going to fall over the grinder. I'm telling you, I'm going to fall down again. <laughs> that, that's why you gave me the camera, ain't it? <laughs> the floor. Um, let's see if we can scare up the tape measure. Well, that was thick. I ain't playing. No, that ain't good. That ain't playing from factory, is it? No, that's another, thick. Another point towards it. That's that's with two C's. That's a good quarter. Good quarter. I thought it was three. <laughs> three C's. Three C's. Thick. <laughs> thick. Yeah, without a K. Uh, without the K. What's the matter? This is not a flat wheel job. No, that's a heavy duty job there. This is not a flat wheel job. Not as thick as that stuff is. That's a little better, ain't it? I need a little more uh, hearing protection, I think. <laughs> you need your ear muffs, do you? <laughs> well, you're still a young man. You ain't like me. You've been in that old factory your whole life. Can't hear squat anyway. You'll hear something one day. Yeah. <laughs> you can be like me. Can't hear scrap. I've done squat, crap, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I would just get a marker, make a mark this way, and then we'll figure out how much two and seven eighths looks like, and then we'll mark it across. In multiple spots so use this as our measurement come off however far and make a mark and then two and seven eighths make another mark. mark the last one I did I cut three inches and you could actually tell when I put the shaft in that the bearing was riding in the wrong spot, the spot. it wasn't enough for it not to work but it was definitely not in the right the spot. spot uh yeah what'd you do that on uh explore sport track oh sports track bagged 22s Okay. Custom set, up. set up. I'm usually I'm used to taking four bolts out and sliding it out. Nine nine. Yeah, that yeah that, that's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, it don't get much easier than that. Now that, that one ain't too bad. That no, ain't bad. It ain't bad. No, the C clip ain't bad. I hope we don't lose it. Well, it should be up in that different somewhere. Well, I didn't want it to fall in the bucket either. Tape measure should be inside the truck where you left it. <laughs> well, I don't know, he's working up in the garage. You might have it up in the garage. Make sure you slam that door now. <laughs> See how well that shut? Man, that shut's great. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Get doors mm. shuts like that nowhere. No, you act like we made it. Yeah, we did. We kind of did, but we we did actually. Ford made it, and we took about a week to line it up. <laughs> See, you ain't supposed to tell that oh, part. Oh well. 
Where's the C clip at? I don't know. I don't know if it fell in that bucket or not. Probably did. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sure it did. Because when you flipped it, I didn't see nothing splash, but I don't know if it's still up in there or not. He's doing the long walk, YouTube world. <laughs> I've been trying to talk him into putting this back on the road. This thing needs to be back on the road sometime. <clears throat> Heck, he's got that 460 in the van. He's got all the stuff to put it back together. And we've been working on the old ramp truck there a little bit. Trying to get it in line. We're going to have to shorten the fenders and shorten the running boards. And I kind of want to make a uh wheel cover for it this mustang i'm telling you if he didn't buy it i'm seriously gonna take out a loan for it somehow i told him right then there i said you'll buy it i'm buying this thing yeah that was my one of my big things in the early 80s 90s i used to take them apart put them back together up in ohio and uh when you're in the rust belt, you see a lot of stuff. This thing is the nicest Mustang I've ever saw. I mean, when I when I get them, the floors were gone, the back pans were gone in the trunk, and you had to rebuild all that. Usually the quarters were junk. But this thing is really nice. That's why I kind of talked John into doing this. So we and I like the fact he's upgrading the front because the front of these sucked. I had a 66 convertible and they, they didn't have no stopping power at all, which I'm glad he's upgraded that. I ain't opposed to upgrading for the right reasons. He's going to make the outside look pretty much all stock. Or like that. When I, where I come from, Man, them cross members are gone. So. Are you talking to YouTube? Yeah, I'm talking. Just you and the YouTube world? Yeah, me and the YouTube world getting to know each other. Getting to know each other. Yeah. What are you telling me? I'm talking about your Mustang, how cool it is, and how where I, I come from, they was all rotted. Yeah. I was showing them around where they were rotted. And Most of them around here ended up more rotten than that one. Yeah, yeah. I've looked at a couple. I have actually went and looked at a few that, you know, I went and looked at one that was spotless like this, but the guy wouldn't sell just the Mustang. He wouldn't sell two cars. Oh, yeah. That was the one. <clears throat> the Mustang was... Cougar? Yeah, Cougar. The Cougar was junk. Cougar was rough. Yeah, it was junk. But he wanted more for the Cougar than he did the Mustang. Yeah. And I just didn't... I didn't see that. Telling him I'd like to see you get that thing back on the road too. Throw that old van 460 in it and throw all the stuff back together and go down the highway. I just been talking. <laughs> talking to a bunch of crap. <laughs> Is that all right? I think we need to go back to your place and uh reiterate about how much junk you got well you i ain't saying they've junk i told him i said man you got a bunch of nice stuff around here I, precision here oh heck you're even using the mustang well, that's <laughs> it's all that, piece. yeah that's a, that is the interfeder piece ain't it i just wanted a good straight line that's all good straight quality line. ford part <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shoot. Six looks good to me. Six inches. Two and seven eighths is eight and seven eighths. All right, now, let's roll. Roll. talk bad about you that kind of that kind of bothers me a little <laughs> i'm just kidding man 
Man, I, Don't get all offended now. Man, I, I'm kind of offended a little. Don't get your ovaries in the water. <laughs> I need to put my purse down. <laughs> Don't worry. At work, when I work with all them females, yeah. I always tell them, go get your prostate all in the fly <laughs> now. <laughs> they just look like at you like they you're crazy. They look like, what? Uh, you're crazy. <laughs> Uh, you need one more mark? I really need another mark there. I need another marky mark. No, I'm liable to get off a little bit doing that. Let's see. Uh, I think you're pretty close. Where's that? Clip? It was one of them break clips. Uh, caliper pad clips money i think you're pretty dang going close all the way around it now you put a thing off you put a seven inch death wheel and just go straight down and you'll be all right <laughs> pretty close <laughs> uh, seven inch death wheel. <laughs> you know how i like that <laughs> Yeah, all the way down it. It will make a much straighter cut than a uh, four inch. Uh, four and a half inch wheel. <laughs> Ain't no question about it. Uh, come over to the dark side, Luke. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, it's only going to take one. <laughs> Probably. Uh, once you get started, it'll, it'll go right through it. Like butter. It will be a pretty straight cut with that 7 inch. It should be. You'll get halfway around it, then you'll have to turn it. Uh, earmuffs safety first folks. safety first expect the worst well the last video you didn't use much safety stuff at all i know <laughs> yeah i think i made a comment about that didn't i yeah i think our uh safety inspector wasn't around safety inspector was not around <laughs> our uh but the thing is is i have to put at the end of the video if the, there's any dangerous acts well, the, you no, do like, the, Yeah. Depends on what you call a dangerous act. <laughs> that is slightly debatable. It is debatable, yeah. I think a seven inch death wheel does kind of count as a uh, dangerous act. Exact, a little bit. Hey, watch your toes. <laughs> yeah, that was getting ready to separate. <laughs> I was wondering if you going to get it or not. Uh, I was waiting for your toe to be smashed. <laughs> Who needs a chop uh, saw when you got this? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> hey, I'm all about a seven inch wheel. It's butter. Uh, it, it definitely cuts through it nice. Well, you subtract about a sixteenth for the uh, saw. This is about, <laughs> about two and three quarter, right there. You want to cut on the tape? Well, actually, this actually works a little bit. It kind of pulls the tape back in line. Okay. So, oh, good go. Yeah, that looks it all good. Looks right. Looks nice and clean. Nice. No crocs. <laughs> you didn't get your toe either. Croc free. Here's my wife. Yeah. Well, there you go, fellas. Yeah, trim down. There's our uh, piece we cut off.
All it is just a matter of uh, some gremlin over here throwing wrenches. Anyway, um, got that twisted up, cut off. Then we're going to take this and bevel this, put a nice 45 degree bevel on it so I can burn it in real good. Do the same thing on this side. And we'll line up with our Sharpie or mark, and uh, we should be good to go. The biggest thing is I'm going to have to square it up. So probably going to come back with some kind of metal on the outside, maybe a piece of angle iron or something to clamp and slide this thing in. So anyway, we'll get this thing set up. We'll go ahead and bevel this and uh, bevel the other end and then see if I can find up a piece of angle iron. And get We've got the pipe cut angle iron clamped in place on the axle. You got your line that we scribed initially. Line it straight up across. And then let's take another C clamp and come over here and you want to clamp it in place. You angle the axle. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, guys, we're going to throw a couple tacks on this. about the sorest excuse for a tack wheel I think I've seen in a while. What the crap is that all about? Bearing, whatever. There you go, here's our initial tacks. We got a pretty good gap right there on the back side, real tight up here at the top. When we put in the, the shaft, I should have showed y'all, but maybe you've seen where the bearing rides onto the axle shaft we were just a little long the bearing was actually almost setting on the radius part of the axle shaft so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take this back apart and i'm going to grind a gap into that where this will fit a little tighter and uh then we'll put it back together and see what we got The reason why I cut through is so I could take a little metal off on that, that side that was actually needing some. You know? Yeah. <clears throat> and this way, make this thing fit. It's a lot better. A lot better, yeah. It's too much of a gap. <clears throat> All right. Green slider repeat. <laughs> Pick it up tomorrow, YouTube. Let's go get some tacos. <laughs> See if I can burn this in and do any good. Woo! I saw the light of it blinded.
know, Gerald. That may not need to be dressed down or re reinforced. It looks pretty uh, stout to me. I mean, you got it filled in a little bit before you really, really redid that. So. Oh, that looks good. What do you think of that? I, I wouldn't, I'd leave that alone. That's burned in pretty tight, I think. Yeah, I'd leave that alone. I don't really think it needs to be uh, ground off. I think I'd leave it's, a, I'd leave it give it a light dressing and then just leave it. I'd leave that alone, man. That looks it's good. It's freaking hot. Yeah, problem with that. Get, oh, there you go. Yeah, right. Pop the sides. All right. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, that's pretty. There you go. Lower the car and shove it under there. I kind of like the idea of uh, lowering the car down and sitting that end in under the leaf and then. Well, I can pick it up. <clears throat> all the way up yeah. above your head? Above my head, yeah. Oh, you going to pick it up above your head? Yeah, well, can. I'm going to keep it on film. Well, you're going to have to hold that in. This is the light end, though. Uh, that's all right. As long as I can get through here, this is I might have to take this out. Here. This is the light end. Let me get some gloves on. This, I, I can take this end all day long. This <laughs> end's light. <laughs> yeah, I got to brag it, though. Yeah, as long as it, I think it'll fit through that hole. Oh, it'll fit. I know it'll fit. It'd just be a matter of you got to get it up there and then I set it down. Get on. It up there. All right. Would be first rear end I did by myself. Okay. Right. <laughs> I got help today. Right. <laughs> I can handle this in. I know. I know I can handle this in. It ain't got axle shaft in it. All right. Get it. Heave. Heave. Oh, I ate these Wheaties today. Got it. Shove it back to me. There you go. Dude, I, I messed with these things by myself. I didn't, until I found you, I ain't never had no help. <laughs> <laughs> that's the truth. Yeah, that's fair enough. Straightforward, eh? Pushing the axle up. How's she doing? I'm just afraid it's going to flip backwards. We're okay, man. I don't know. I still leave that on there. Yeah, it wants to go back. We're not okay. No, it wants to go back. <laughs> I leave okay. that on there. We are not, definitely not okay. No. Well, I was thinking I could use it to tip the axle up, but uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to rotate it. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, that wasn't the right clip. Tag <laughs> on it. <laughs> what did I come up with on that? What was it? Three and seven eighths, I think I said? Yeah, three and seven eighths. It's pretty daggone close. Where's the tape? Tape. Uh, I had it over there. This is definitely what you call ADHD customs. <laughs> you put something down, and you go, whoop, 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 Where, where'd it go? That? Yeah. Where'd it go? Slay it down. I lost it. I set it down for two seconds. Oh, now it's buried in the pile of crap in the that, floor. That line's good in the wheel well, too, or in the track three tunnel. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're pretty close. Oh, no, we ain't pretty close. Right on? It's on. That's it. According to that. <laughs> That's scary. To the center pin. Scary, ain't it? That's uh, more than a little scary. More than a little. Three and what? Three and seven eighths is what I got. Uh, uh, come over here. Let center sure. pin. Don't forget center pin. Center pin. Look, it seems like I can't see it. You're a little taller than I am. Here, let me go. I can't see it. Right there. Oh. Oh, it didn't 
bet you, uh, I bet you this one's pushed that way. When we shove the uh, axle that way. Yeah. Want me to hold this one? No, I don't. Okay. Let me lock that one down where it's at. All right. And then we'll play with this one. And then we'll move that one and get it set. Where we're happy. With. You already got two bolts. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <Not> bad. <laughs> All right. You want to tip the axle back up? what I kept saying when yeah. I was looking at them. I was you like, telling me that. I think an Explorer shackle will fit. Fit it good. Y'all tell me, what do you think, well, guys? Well, that's flipping sides, too. This though. is an Explorer axle shaddle, shackle, not shackle, I can't talk. U-bolt plate, it's got the lower eyelet type shock, and right there is the factory one. Let's see. What do y'all think, guys? You be the judge. Think that'll work? Think it'll be in a bind? What do you think? I think that'll work. Comes up and down. I think it'll fit right into it. That's flipping sides though. Isn't yeah, that is. That's flipping sides. Right. Yeah. I think it is anyway. Yeah, it's flipping sides. Because this would be on the back of the other. Yeah. We probably ought to take that little this bracket. Off. Well, no, I don't know. That's the e-brake bracket, yeah, ain't you it? You hold it. Let's leave it on there. What the heck? Let's see how close we are over here on the didn't it need to move one way or the it other a little bit to, i think it's just a spring to be i think it is too grab that hammer there on the floor i'm a little more than a little nervous at the moment with that <laughs> <laughs> that was a little light back here yeah. we need about uh, uh 200 pounds up front yeah that's pretty close though I can't see it as well as you can, but um, I don't know. That's right around the right on the money, really. I think. Is it okay? Oh no, hang on. I was on the nut. Nut. Uh huh. Needs to go that way, about eight, eight. maybe. Yeah. That ought to do it. All right. Let's put it in right there and just now we got for now that'll work because we're not really uh yeah we're just rolling it around. Yeah, we're not welding in axle saddles yet. Just set it in there. Now what did you do with all your stuff? You took all my stuff and you, you were using all of what I had on. Why are you there. accusing me? That's all my stuff. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I think it was all this side. Well, we had to flip sides. <laughs> <laughs> Except for all the stuff I took up from the floor over there. Yeah. Now that was your stuff. Oh. Or it was, it, maybe it was your stuff, actually. The, one, the stuff I took apart, anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's fair, you do that's fair enough. You we had. got enough stuff to put one side together, anyway. <laughs> yeah. We did, actually. And that would be the side that we did not take apart because we still haven't found a C clip. C clip, yeah. Freaking C clip is MIA. I don't know what happened that thing. That's crazy to me. Boom, baby. That looks cool. Does the bracket go on first? Does the the brake bracket? Does it go on first? Yeah, you gotta put that on first. Yeah, put it first. I kind of thought that was right. Yeah, you want me to get it? We're still missing a, a C clip for an axle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. Somehow or another, we have managed to lose it completely. You ever heard the tater joke? Tater. Yeah, the tater joke. Uh. -uh. So, a boy went to the beach one day and and he. He walked around for a while, never did get any girls to talk to him or anything. So he come back and he's telling his buddies about it. And he said, well, put on a Speedo and go out to the beach and put a potato down in your pants. And he said, all the girls will just come flocking to you. So the old boy, he went back and he bought him the, the sexiest Speedo he could find. 
he got him one of them speedos and got he went out to the beach and he carried his tater out and reached down there and he put it down in his speedo and well he walked around a little while and everybody was just pointing and laughing laughing so uh he come back next day he said he said fellas that didn't work i i said what, what do you mean it didn't work? I said, it's, it's a proven method. It works every time. He said, he said no. He said, oh, I did it. It didn't work at all. And, he, and the guy said, he said, well, show me how you did it. He said, I took my potato. And he said, I reached back there and put it in the back of my Speedo. And he said, well, you idiot. You can't put it. You put it in the front. <laughs> you look like you had dog. <laughs> and it's brown, too. <laughs> Are you a good joke teller? Not really. No? No. Nah. I'm just a smart ass. <laughs> That's all I am. <laughs> Something happens to somebody I'm really a smart ass about. I like to tell them and kind of add a little of my own flair to that. There, well, you already got that other flair with the southern draw anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a good deal there. Okay. Well, somehow or another, we've managed to lose one U bolt. Or did we, did we confirm we had four U bolts? Yeah, I brought the other one from outside. It was laying in the ground. Oh, you did find it, okay. Yeah. So we, we had four. You lost it then. You just admitted. <laughs> no, I didn't admit it. I brought it in here. You brought it in here and you lost it when you brought it in. <laughs> no, it's probably that one right there. Or right there hooked already. <laughs> oh, no. oh yeah. No way. It could be. Ain't no way. <laughs> I'm thinking it is. <laughs> impossible. impossible. Because we ain't got no nuts to go with it. There you go. You're in. We need C clip. <laughs> what was that on? That was off that green truck. Oh, it was off the green truck. <laughs> yeah, that's the and the match to it's out there. But it's a it's a ten on the back. And this is just an eight. This is the front. Oh, that's the front. Look at that. Yeah, I'm telling you, you could run it. You could run an eight. And it's actually pretty nice on there. It looks big on there too. What do you have? It's a 20. That looks big. Boys, well, once you got down on the ground, I asked him to come down a little bit. Yeah, it would never clear right here. This would be your issue. Well, it'll squat. When I you guess. put it down, it'll squat. I believe it's against the leaves. Well, no, I don't think it is. No, it's not against the leaves. 20 by eight, that'll work. Well, I don't want a 20 on it. It's never clear right here. Oh, so you want to run 20s on? Not really. What are those? 16? Those are 17s. 17? I like a 17 on it. I kind of like the 20 on there, but that's just me. I'm a big wheel guy. I don't even mind it's a dang old five spoke. <laughs> Yeah, you, I'm that telling is, you. I'm sorry, that's redonkulous. Uh, no, it is. It's right up there with perfect. That's redonkulous. <laughs> I'm telling you, once you got it on the ground, it's fill up in there. Because it's going to go up. It's going to go like this when it comes down. No, that, that's just redonkulous. It looks absolutely ludicrous on we there. We need to get it on the ground. 
The, the ground will tell you a whole lot. I like it. I mean, we could definitely unpin that axle saddle and scoot it back one notch. I'm telling you, I don't And that would give to. it a clearance. I don't think you have to, because these things go like this. Do they? When they sit down? When they sit down, they go. Okay. I've had enough of them to know. <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got that in the right spot, right? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, Stand by. I'm moving the jack. Ooh, whoa. See how it's going back already? Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I still think you're right. It's gonna have to go back one pin. Well, that's the beauty of them muscle saddles as you can. Yeah. I like the looks of it in there though. It fills the whole thing up. Oh, I guarantee it does. <laughs> it fills the whole thing up, man. See, you got both sides are even now. See how they're even now? Oh yeah. See? Sure enough. I thought, I've been around these things long enough. I don't think it'll clear the inner tub, do you? Uh, where's the light? I think it's on the inner tub. Uh, yeah. You Is it hitting it. this? No, it's, it's hitting up at the top. Where no, no. See how it's flared out right here? It's hitting up at the it's top. It's hitting right here. here, too. Yeah, it, it's flared out, and he just kind of hammered back a little. Oh, yeah. It's all over it though. Yeah, it, it needs hammered back here too. Yep. <laughs> I'm telling you, I like that. You might throw a light shim on it though. Yeah. I mean, roll, light shim, like maybe a quarter inch shim and then roll the fenders, it would probably clear. Oh yeah, it looked good too. It would probably clear. I'm a 20 guy. Put them on there, man. Put them on there. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you over to the dark side. Hey, it even looks good with the vice boat. It's redonkulous. <laughs> it'll That's work. absolutely redonkulous. Hey, it'll work though. It is redonkulous. Yeah, you put a you put a three sixteenth shim in there. That would work. Yeah, about a quarter inch shim, three eight shim, something like that. It would clear the tubs. I don't know that it's gonna clear this. This here though, I mean, I'm all against that with that tire. Oh, I'm telling you, when when they when they hit a bump, they do this. That's yeah. why the spring is like this. That wheel is huge in there. It looks good. It looks, looks good. It looks massive. <laughs> it looks good, man. It'll give you a good break too for what you got up going on in the front. <laughs> oh, we're bringing back the '80s, baby. <laughs> Heck yeah, big tire in the back, little tire in the front. Yeah. <laughs> what, throw a 17 on the front? Yeah, seven, what, 18. You the, get by with an 18. It'd have to be an 18. Yeah, you got to, you'd have to get an 18. Yeah. Boyd Cotty tent. Throw Heck some yeah. 18s and 20s. Yep. I mean, ah, <laughs> I just don't know. Oh, come on, man. Come to the dark side. <laughs> uh, it's rubbing a little. It's definitely rubbing. <clears throat> yeah, all that needs to be... Because it's all bent. This, see, uh, it's all bent right there. See it? It's all bent this way. Yeah, I see all that. So is this. This needs to be hammered back a little, too. You're coming to the dark side, I can see it. Somewhere there's a Mustang purist going. <laughs> Said they were redonkulous. 
Yeah, but you got a guy over here who loves them. You got two lug nuts. Uh, one lug nut, I just dropped the other one. No. Well, we decided to go with wagon wheels. <laughs> You're gonna blame me, ain't you? <laughs> I like the looks of it too, boys. It even looks wide in there too. It looks tall and skinny to me. Well, it kind of needs to be skinny. Tall and skinny. Yeah, it kind of needs to be skinny. You got a real chicken leg. <laughs> Rubbing in the front, I know. All right. Let me drop this uh, down. I'm rubbing right there. In the corner? Right there. In that front corner. Oh, yeah, it sure is. Right there in that corner. Hey, you can cut that. <laughs> And just move it. <laughs> Put a little bigger piece in there. It is rubbing it. Whoa. What? That looked like that twisted a little. What did? The whole truck, the whole car. I don't think so. Looks like it did there for a second. I'm just watching to make sure it don't come off the pads. Yeah, because that's about as far as you're going to get right here. They usually slice. The leaves clear the, the leaf. Yeah. They definitely clear the leaf. Yeah. It's just rubbing in that corner. It just needs some taken out of that corner. <laughs> oh, no, it's rubbing back here, too. Where? Here. Well, no, it ain't. It's, it's close. It's right on it. It's close. If you rolled the lip, I well, if I scoot the axle back, too, I'll be in it. Yep. That's a big old tire though. Well, how about it, fellas? What do you think? Is that a redonkulous look or does it uh, work for y'all? It works for me, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah. I actually don't hate it. I thought it was too big for the car, but throw a uh, lower profile tire on it and uh, I could probably live with that. Man, I like the looks of it. I, I, I think Especially you get the chrome on it with those wheels. Oh yeah. And full dressed out in chrome. Chrome. Yeah. Cause it is, it's full chrome car. It's got all the, all of it. Even the, the uh, aluminum strip down right. the rocker. Yeah. I, I definitely don't hate it. I'd love to see it tucking more of it, but it's, it's a look that I could live with for a while until we get to mini tubbing it. Mm hmm. Well, there you have it guys. I guess we're gonna run over a little long on this one today, but I uh, hope y'all stuck around and checked out all the footage. This has been a pretty fun day, good uh, experience, good, good to show y'all this car and kind of give you an introduction to what all we've got here. The, the different talents, I guess you could say, or yeah. la lack of talents maybe, I don't know, well, yeah. that we have. Uh, I'm getting back to my roots. I've played with these a lot. Yeah. But as long as you don't have to put a caliper bracket on, yeah. Gerald's well, good to go. I'm used to drum. Come on, man. I'm old. I'm used to drum. <laughs>